I did these three things to find extra money within my budget to put towards debt. If you're interested to in finding out what they are, keep on watching. All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Pearlette. This is Hey Girl, It's Pearl. And I do budgeting, I do debt payments and cash envelope stuffing. Okay, if you're new and you're interested in this content, I just ask that you subscribe to my channel and leave a comment to let me know that you're a new subscriber. To all my returning subscribers, thank you again for watching. So I'm not going to hold you too long. I just thought um, I wanted to share some tips that I used to find money to help me pay down my debt. So um, first tip, reevaluate your budget. Um, there may be categories that in your budget where you can make some adjustments and find extra money to put towards debt. Now, I use the bare bones budget, which I will show you right here. Um, the bare bones budget worksheet is actually from the budget mom, and I believe it's in her free resources category on her website. And basically you write down all your expenses and list the amounts. And then there are separate columns where you can keep, lower, or cut the expense. And by doing so, you can find extra money within your budget that maybe you didn't think of in the past. For instance, or for example, I used a lot of subscriptions. You know, the past three years, we were all doing a lot of using streaming services like Hulu, Netflix, Sling, um, Discovery Plus, Disney Plus, just to name a few. And each of those streaming services cost money. I started out with Sling and when they increased their price to $40, $40, yes, $40. I said, no, no, ma'am, you need to get rid of that. So I went through the worksheet and I just started marking off what I wanted to keep. You know, your basic, your light, your phone, your cable, stuff like that, you have to keep. But those streaming services and some other subscriptions, I either cut them out or I lowered them. And by doing so, it saved me a lot of money. So I encourage you to use this worksheet to go through your budget and you can eliminate some of the some items that could save you money in the long run tip number two sell some items you may have a closet full of clothes that you're not wearing anymore a lot of us are working from home so we don't need those clothes to wear in the office and i went through a lot of clothes that either i didn't have a desire for anymore couldn't fit me anymore and I sold them either on Poshmark or Facebook Marketplace. You might have some furniture items that you'd like to get rid of, and you can also sell those on Facebook Marketplace. That's extra money that you can be putting towards debt. Tip number three, earn extra income. Uh, there are so many ways to earning extra income. Me personally, I started doing Instacart, DoorDash, Uber Eats. At one time, I was doing Amazon delivery until they started sending me 30 miles away and I had to say no to that. So um, you can do any of those delivery services or you can create a side hustle on skills that you learned or that you have that you really aren't using anymore. I used to do photography. That was a skill that I was earning money and putting that income towards debt. Since COVID, I kind it the project that I was working on, they weren't doing it anymore, so I actually need to tap in and see if I can find 
some other ways to use my camera because currently it's sitting collecting dust and that was an expensive camera. So those are three things that I did within my household to put money towards debt. Drop down in the comments and let me know if you're, what are some of the tips that you're using to put extra money towards debt? I'd be interested to find out. Let's get a conversation going down in the comments. Again, I thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.